This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Let's say you have a stick that you will cut into three pieces by randomly and independently selecting two points to be the locations of the cuts. The question is, what are the odds the three pieces you create can form a triangle? You can see for example with these three pieces I can create one, but if these were the two cuts then it's impossible to make a triangle. Now, what I found to be an extremely clever solution to this requires one geometry theorem that I bet a lot of people don't know. If you have an equilateral triangle and pick any point on the interior, then draw three line segments from there such that they're all perpendicular to the three sides, the sum of those distances will always equal the height of the triangle, regardless of where on the interior you pick. Here's why this always works. Since it's an equilateral triangle, then every side I can call x. Those line segments will be labeled a, b, and c, and the height of the triangle will be h. Now the area of the entire triangle would be base, or x, times height, all over 2. Then you'll notice I can break the bigger triangle up into three smaller triangles using a, b, and c as the respective heights. The area of this bottom one is base x times height a all over 2. The next triangle would be x times b all over 2. And the last one would be x times c all over 2. And the sum of all of those equals the entire triangle. Canceling the 2's and the x's, we get that a plus b plus c equals h. This is known as Viviani's theorem, by the way. But okay, how does this help us with our stick problem? Well, first off, from geometry, you should know that for a triangle to be made, the two shortest legs combined in length must be longer than the third. If that criteria is met, then we can make a triangle. So now we'll just say that the stick we're using matches the height of the triangle. Thus, any interior point with those three perpendicular line segments corresponds to cutting that stick in two locations. Like this interior point corresponds to these two cuts. And as we move the interior point around, the overall length stays the same, but we change the locations of those two cuts. So all the interior points of this triangle correspond to every possible way you could cut this stick in two locations. And at this point, for example, we see it does correspond to a possible triangle. Now I'm going to draw another equilateral triangle in the middle of the bigger one to make a little triforce here. And look at the top triangle. For any point inside there, the longest line segment, or longest piece of the broken stick, will definitely be longer than half the height, or total length. Thus the other two combined will be shorter than that. And when the two shorter sides combined don't exceed the third, then you don't have a possible triangle. This applies to anywhere in that upper triangle, and by symmetry, the same thing can be said about the other two. The middle triangle is the one exception where the longest line segment won't exceed half the stick's length, thus the other two combined must. And when the two shorter sides combined exceed the third, then you can make a triangle. So of the four regions we see here, all equally likely to be the point representation of the two cuts, only one of them yields lengths that can make a triangle. So the answer to our question is 25%. So now if this ever comes up in a future interview for you guys, hopefully you'll remember this video. I decided to make this a shorter one, but if you like these kinds of puzzles and out of the box thinking, then I definitely recommend checking out Brilliant.org, this video's sponsor. Related to this video, they actually have an entire series of geometry related courses from beginning to advanced concepts. Like their beautiful geometry course includes fun puzzles like the art gallery problem, which is one I really enjoy. There's one in two-dimensional folding, or the use of Pick's theorem, which is an application of Euler's formula, and so on. Or for those who like these advanced puzzles, they have courses like Contest Math that covers a variety of topics and specific problems which show up in advanced math competitions. As everyone says, sitting down and challenging yourself with new types of questions is the best way to improve your problem-solving abilities, and with all their intuitive animations along with constant practice problems, Brilliant.org is the perfect resource for doing just that. Then on top of what we've seen, they have dozens of other courses in math, science, and engineering for you to choose from. Also, the first 200 people to sign up with the link below or by going to Brilliant.org slash Zachstar will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. 
And with that, I'm going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.